This is ISTH TV live from the floor of the 2017 Congress in Berlin, Germany. I'm Thomas Baldrick, joined by our Australian friend Sean Jackson, doctor, professor, man about town. Thanks for being here with us. Yeah, my pleasure. So, talking about life and death of platelets, let's uh, let's break this down. This is a topic that you've been working on for a while, and and you you feel like you really have a good handle on it. Look, we we been working on what's an interesting clinical, an important clinical problem, and that is that when people get critically ill, and that could be because of overwhelming infection, could be because they've had a heart attack or maybe a, an accident, major accident, these patients will often develop inflammation that affects many of their organs. And interestingly, they also develop thrombosis throughout multiple organs. And the lung is particularly affected and it's often lung failure which leads to the death of, of these people. So it's a huge problem. And none of the existing therapies that we use to pre prevent, prevent these blood clots, they work. So we've been trying to understand why those clots develop, not only in the lung, but in other organs. And we've, we've identified a really unexpected clotting mechanism which actually starts in the gut. And we've known for a long time, the gut's the main immune organ so a lot of your inflammation can start in the gut there's a lot of natural bugs healthy bugs that are in the in the gut and what we've identified is that the inflammatory changes that occur in the gut also are producing clots and those clots are causing damage to other organs and in particular the lung and that's potentially exciting because we've got a new handle on how this occurs and, and maybe we'll, we'll relate to a new way of treating or preventing these clots. So this inflammatory mechanism is really at the center of this, isn't it? Exactly right. So when you, so normally when we're exercising, etc., we don't want a lot of blood going to our gut. So a normal response is you punch blood to go to your muscles, to your vital organs. You want the blood to go to your gut when you're eating. After you've eaten, you want to digest that, so blood gets diverted. When you're critically unwell, the body shuts off a lot of the blood supply. And when that's extreme, it can actually lead to damage to the gut. And that triggers this inflammatory and thrombosis mechanism. How that occurs is not really well defined. So what is the uh, thrombotic response in patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome? You talked about that. Yeah. So we know it's been thought for many years that it's a, a overactivation of blood clotting, blood coagulation. And the trial blood thinners, natural anticoagulants, which are having some effect but not saving lives. Um, what our studies show is that both the immune inflammatory reaction as well as the clotting reaction come together and promote this distinct clotting mechanism that affects the lung. And what that does is stops normal blood flow through the lungs and if the blood doesn't flow through the lungs, you don't exchange oxygen, so you have this gas exchange, and uh, this ultimately will lead to death, severe injury and death. So getting those blood vessels, keeping them open in the lung is critical in these patients. Let's talk uh, on a, both a personal and professional level. When you talk about, hey, we've got something new here, or we think we've got something new here, what is the, the reaction to that through the community? How do you, if you were listening to someone else's presentation, how do you take that in? And I ask you that because you're saying that yourself as a presenter. Look, scientists were initially skeptical when we say something is completely new. You know, you're always building on top of other people's findings. But what was really intriguing to us is that there's two well-known mechanisms which block blood vessels. One of those is through platelets. You know, it's like building a house. You have the bricks and mortar. The platelets are like the bricks and the, the fibrin is the, is the mortar. So typically thrombosis that affects multiple organs is either through platelets or through the fibrin. What was really surprising is this is a, a third mechanism which is through white blood cells. And the mechanism linking to white cells was through dying platelets. So there were two surprises. The white cells were so critical and that you needed platelet death to trigger this white cell clotting mechanism. Sean, thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations on your efforts and your presentation today. Fantastic. Thank we'll you. be nice to you. You want us to be nice to us 2019 in Melbourne. <laughs> we invite you all. We look forward to it. Sounds good.
You're watching ISTH-TV live from the floor of the 2017 Congress in Berlin. Thanks.